What do I do for my next topic? If there's only three exercises I could do without expensive equipment to improve my posture, that would be great. Hmm. I got it. In order to have impeccable posture, there are three things that need to be addressed. Base of support, thoracic rib cage mobility, postural muscles for the legs and spine in order to hold one upright. I think starting from the bottom and moving our way up is the key. So let's get to the exercises. All right, let's start with that very first exercise. We wanna use and really recruit our base. That base of support is really important. And that starts with your hamstrings and your glutes. So this exercise, we call it here, hip holds number two. All you need is a strap, a sturdy one, not one of those stretchy ones. You want a sturdy one, you can use a regular belt if you want. You're doing this in the sitting, the seated position. Now there's two ways to do this. Some people prefer it this way and or some people prefer it in that middle of their foot. So I put personally like it right in the middle of the foot. What you wanna do is pretend there's a magnet going towards that floor and it's glued to the ground. You really wanna drive the middle of the foot, the arch muscles down into the ground. And what you're gonna do with the belt is you're gonna to try to pull up against it and you're gonna to try to this is the motion I'm using with the arms, but my legs are keeping it down. So we're gonna drive it this way. I'm gonna pull, push down. Now the muscles that should be engaged are, it's gonna be your hamstrings and your glutes. You don't wanna use the quads. So if you have a hard time doing that, you wanna do and initiate a little butt squeeze. You wanna squeeze that first. So you wanna squeeze it, then drive your force down. Now you might find yourself shaky and that's okay, that's a good thing. You wanna drive it straight down, you wanna hold it till the shakiness stops just like you might be seeing on the camera here. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, this should be soft. Tightness here, we wanna rewake these small muscles that help keep us standing and give us that great posture. So like I said, Great posture comes from that ground up base of support. So now that it's sturdy, of course you wanna to switch to the other side. You can do that, get both legs nice and dandy. Let's try the other way. Some people like it the other way. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna initiate a butt squeeze and push down. So I'm doing that butt squeeze, pushing down, gluing my foot to the floor and my arms are doing their best to try to yank it and detach it off the ground but I want you to think in your mind, your feet are growing tree roots into the ground and then you're creating that. And that should be soft. As you can see, everyone on my quads, I just, it's nice and super soft. Everything's tight right here. Once again, you hold that until the shakiness stops. So that's what we wanna do. And once that's done, we're gonna move to our second exercise. After we created a nice base, we need some flexibility or mobility in our rib cage and upper spine. A lot of us are in that hunched position. You want to open that up. You get stuck in this position. We need that freedom. We need these things to expand our chest to open up even more. So instead of a pec stretch, we want to do thoracic mobility or mobilizing. We could use a couple props here. Very inexpensive. You probably have a towel or a beach towel, you wanna to roll that up and you can just throw that right along in this plane along your shoulder blade. But for a low cost of 20 some odd dollars, we have the body disc. We like to promote it here because one of my friends made it and that's awesome and you know we have a discount code with a link below for you to get this because it's small, compact, and it could fit right in between that shoulder blade. So we're gonna demonstrate with this body disc instead. So what we wanna do is you wanna use the flatter part and you're gonna lay that down and my middle of my shoulder blade is gonna go right in there. We're trying to create that little bowing effect here and we'll start that middle of the shoulder blade. You can go a little bit lower if you would like and we can do some snow angel patterns. Could drop my legs 
and we could do some snow angel patterns first to kind of warm up. Eventually, I'm gonna start relaxing here, my neck, and you can start feeling that stretch. It gets right into that spine, that little nook. That's why we really like the use of the body disc here. It just isolates that a little bit more. So what you wanna do next is then you can start moving your arms forward and backwards. If you have a little stick at home, you can use a stick as well. But what we want to do is just keep doing that till your arms just feel loose. All of a sudden, they just let go and then you're ready to move on to the next segment. So just keep doing that. Right here and all of a sudden now it just seems like I can touch the floor a little bit more. So we can move a little lower for myself the disc goes higher and same thing really work especially those of you who have that dowager's hump you want to be able to get that to smooth out a little bit you want to get that curve flatter that's going to keep us with that better posture so go here do snow angel patterns once again you can breathe right onto this disc you can Change their leg position, either way, whatever feels good and comfortable and stable. And that's what we're gonna do for this. After we've freed this up, we're gonna move to our third exercise that is gonna be to stabilize us in this position. All right, so this is the last of the series. We wanna set ourselves up for this strengthening and stability after we mobilized and stretched out our upper backs and our spine and our rib cage. So this is how you set it up. What you wanna do is you need a surface that you can rely on. You can do this in sitting or you can do this in kneeling. What I, you wanna do after that is interlace your fingers, put it behind around the base of your neck and then you're gonna encompass that by squeezing in. This is the start. What you wanna do after that is then you're going to lean on that surface, get yourself as straight as possible on that spine. We'll have a little line here. Uh, and then you're going to hold it. You're gonna dig your heels down. You're gonna use other muscles like your core muscles, your butt muscles, your upper postural muscles. And then you're gonna lightly do a little chin tuck back into your fingertips and hold it. Ideally, you're holding it pretty sturdy. You don't want it downwards. You don't want it sideways. You want to get it straight and you want to draw those shoulder blades back and hold it. You're holding it for about 90 seconds or longer. And then once you've got that or if you start losing your position, readjust and retry it again. But if you can hold it, great. Now, if I could get everyone to like and subscribe to this video, nicely comment, and do a super thanks donation to support us, that would be amazing!